Hello, and welcome to the Terry Talks Nutrition Educational Webinar Series. Today, we're very proud to present Terry Limerand. He is a retailer, author, educator, and entrepreneur. He has worked more than 40 years in the natural products industry. He's researched and developed literally hundreds of nutritional and botanical formulations and natural medicines that continue to be top-selling products on the market today. If you'd like to learn more about your own personal health and wellness plan, please visit www.terrytalksnutrition.com. Today we're going to be talking about ashwagandha, and then so I would like to present to you Terry Limerand. Hello, Terry. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. That's very nice of you. Thank you for, for the nice introduction. And we're going to talk about one of my favorite plants, my, one of my favorite herbs, ashwagandha. I just think what this all has to say about ashwagandha, stress, anxiety, memory, weight loss, muscle strength, and endurance. I think we're talking about the population of America. Everybody now is stressed, they're anxious, they're nervous, they have excess nervous tension, their memory is failing them, everybody is fighting the battle of the bulge, they wish for weight loss, and we all want more muscle strength. I don't think everybody thinks about being a bodybuilder or a weightlifter. So when people talk, talk about muscle strength, they forget that we need muscle strength our entire life. We lose 1 to 1.5% 1 of our, our muscle every decade. And as we get older, we get more frail. Why do people have difficulty getting out of their chair? Why can they not get up the steps why do they fail to go on cruises and tours because they don't have the strength to travel and walk any distances? So we really take away the quality of our life when we lose our muscle strength, our endurance, and we, we, we encounter more stress and anxiety. So when we look for something that is safe and natural, that we can take without any complications, and I rarely ever talk about a product that I haven't already used myself and that I really respect because I see the benefits in my own way of life, in my own quality of life. So I like this kind of product that I can share with you that I have full confidence that it's going to really give you the benefits you want. Ashwagandha is known as an adaptogen. The word has been developed and known for about oh, 60 years at least, or maybe 70 years, and it comes out of Russia. They were looking for ways to increase endurance and stamina of their Olympic athletes, their cosmonauts. They were looking for something that did not have a side effect that would complicate their athletic endeavors, or if when you're on a spaceship, you don't want to take something that is a drug that may have side effects. You want to look for something that's safe, that doesn't have any side effects. And adaptogens in general are herbal medicines that have no known side effects. They are non-toxic, and they rejuvenate the body. They restore the body back to a more normal state of resiliency and normal function. It brings up what is too low, and it brings down what is too high. It helps the body adapt to our environment, to wherever we are. If we're in cold weather or hot weather, if we're in a jungle or if we're in the city streets, no matter where we go, we have to adapt to those changes. So that's what is called an adaptogen. It helps the body to adapt and resist the negative effects of stress and illness or the entire environment in which we live. Adaptogens fight fatigue, increase energy help fight off illnesses, can be both calming and energizing without excessive stimulation. It is not a stimulant. So you're not going to feel the effects the first day. It's not like caffeine. You're not stimulated. So you need a little bit of time for it to work because it does its restoring effect before you'll feel the full effects. And some people can't understand why it energizes and calms because if you need to be calm, It'll make you calmer. 
if you need to be energized, it'll make you have more energy. That's what it means to adapt. Wherever you are in life, it helps you make those changes to have you have the effects that you are looking for or which your body would requires. So what is ashwagandha? Well, it's been known as the Indian ginseng because it does a lot of the same things as ginseng does, but it does not grow in, uh, and ginseng does not grow in India. Ashwagandha is the Indian source of ginseng. It belongs to the same family as tomatoes and potatoes. Sounds strange. Has been used in Ayurvedic medicines for thousands of years to restore the balance in the body. That's exactly what it does. It's a tonic. It restores balance to the body. And the name ashwagandha in Sanskrit means the smell of the horse. It gives people the energy and stamina of a horse. Boy, we all could look for that. So the use of the ashwagandha, as I said before, it restores the body back to balance. It's a rejuvenator. It boosts resistance to fatigue and stress. It reduces anxiety and depression. It improves muscle strength and recovery, and increases libido and fertility, improves memory and cognitive function, decreases pain and inflammation, boosts immunity, balances hormones. This is what's nice about an adaptogen. It balances all of these conditions in the body. It almost seems to be too good to be true, but that's what nature is. Nature has built into plants all the things, all the molecules that work together synergistically to give us all kinds of benefits. A drug is only one molecule, so it only can affect one pathway in the body, can only do one very specific narrow target or pathway. And when it targets one little pathway, all the other pathways that are involved with that single pathway is then thrown out of balance, and that's why there are always side effects. There are no side effects to ashwagandha. It's such a nice herb to use without any fear of any side effects. Now, here's some clinical evidence that it works. In a double-blind placebo-controlled study, participants with chronic stress were given a standardized ashwagandha extract, KSM-66. You can look this up at PubMed or on the scientific website. It's a, it's a published study, so it's open to the public domain, and they, they tested this against a placebo. So after two months, the results were very significant. Muscle tension increased heart rate, physical symptoms down 76%, anxiety and insomnia down 69%, social dysfunction. Some people just do not like to associate with other people. Sometimes they don't like to be in a crowd with other people. They don't like to go to a new gathering. They don't like changes. And this helps people to adapt to the social aspects of life. And severe depression was down 79%. Memory and cognitive, cognition. A double-blind placebo-controlled study involved 50 adults. Group 1, 300 milligrams of standardized ashwagandha extract, the clinically studied KSM-66 twice daily, and a placebo group. Placebo is a fake pill. Some people call it a sugar pill. Today, they don't use sugar in a capsule. More likely, it's going to be some inert substance like fiber that we don't digest, so it doesn't have any effect on the body. It might be like rice bran or some kind of bran that we don't, we can't get anything out of it. We don't digest it, so it goes right through the body as fiber. And after eight weeks, ashwagandha root group experienced significant improvements in short term and general memory. Also had improvements in executive function, attention, and information processing. Now body weight. We're all interested in being more fit, more slim, and always trying to find some way to make our, our, um, our body weight more normal. Chronic stress. One of the reasons why we gain weight is because we have chronic stress. And people are addicted to food when they have stress. 
it goes back to the time when we were children. When we had our childhood stress, we fell down, we scraped our knee, what did grandma do? She pulled us up on her lap and she gave us some pie and ice cream to make us feel better. So as we get older, we associate eating food that brings us pleasure to reduce the stress. So chronic stress can cause a lot of physical symptoms, including weight gain. It isn't just that simple, but we learn to associate food with pleasure. And when we have stress, we want more pleasure, right? We want to get back into the happy state. So we eat more food and we gain more weight. In a double-blind placebo-controlled trial involving 52 people with chronic stress, group one, 300 milligrams of standardized ashwagandha extract, KSM 66, twice daily, that means 300 milligrams in the morning, 300 milligrams in the afternoon, or late in the evening. Group two, the fake pill, placebo. After eight weeks, the ashwagandha group experienced decreases in cortisol levels. When cortisol goes up, that's when we have more problems, and that's when we gain weight. So we want cortisol levels to come down. Body weight came down. The body mass index came down. Those are all in our favor. Now, in regards to testing on muscle strength and recovery, double-blind placebo-controlled trial involving 57 male subjects, 18 to 50 years old, it was an eight-week study. Group one, again, 300 milligrams of standardized ashwagandha extract, KSM 66, twice daily, morning and night, placebo, morning and night, and after the study, increased muscle size and strength and testosterone levels went up. And that is good, especially in men. Testosterone, we, want, we feel better, we have less muscle, we have, we have more muscle, we, we have better muscle tone. It doesn't mean we have to be a bodybuilder, but we just have good muscle tone throughout our life. That's what we, 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 have, we need in order to have a healthy lifestyle. And they find out now when testosterone goes down, which is totally un controversial, but it's been proven over and over again, when testosterone levels go down, we have more prostate cancer and we have more enlargement of the prostate, which causes BPH, which causes getting up several times through the night, causes a, 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 a weak caliber of stream of, of urine. Uh, we, sometimes we have to stand at the urinal for two or three minutes sometimes, I, I see people in airports, men in airports. I go in there, and I go in, and I'm out, and they're still standing there. Why, why are they still standing there? Because they have an enlarged prostate. It pushes on the bladder, squeezes the bladder off. They can't get the urine to, to be excreted. So it takes them a long time to urinate. Testosterone levels, when they're up, all those symptoms disappear, or at least are reduced. Reductions in exercise induce muscle damage and body fat. But actually, when we're working out, when we work out, we destroy muscle. So some people think when they're not gaining any muscle from working out, they want to work out more. Well, when you work out and you're, and you're destroying the muscles and you're not gaining any muscle, you think to yourself, I have to work out more, I have to work out more. Well, actually, no. Work it out just enough and then rest. In fact, some people work out too much and not enough rest so that the muscles recover. We make more muscles when we rest than when we work out. Now, there has to be a balance. I'm not saying just rest and you're going to have better muscles, but you have to have some stimulation of muscle damage and then rest so that it can recover and build more muscle in response to what stress is put against the muscles. Fatigue cortisol, and, and fertility. So additional research. In patients treated for breast cancer, ashwagandha was associated with a 34% reduction in cancer fatigue and about 30% increased survival rate at 24 months post-treatment. This is phenomenal. This is really excellent. Safe, even if, listen, if, even if you don't get that kind of results, you're gonna get some results, and you have no worry about it having side effects or increasing estrogens that may have some effects on breast cancer. It also reduced cortisol levels, the stress hormone by almost 30%, increased sperm concentration by 167%, 
sperm motility by 57%, and serum testosterone levels went up 17% in men with infertility and low sperm counts. And it improved female sexual function after two months. You have to have time. You're not going to see results the day you take it. You're not going to see results in a couple of weeks. It might take you a couple of months. Be patient. It's a rejuvenator. It's a restoring the body back to its, its, its normal res resiliency. You don't do that overnight. You destroy your body over periods of months, weeks, decades. You can't restore it in a couple of weeks. Be patient. So how do you use ashwagandha? Well, I look for the clinically studied ashwagandha root, KSM-66. That is standardized to the withalinolides like key compounds. That's but that's the one I like to use. I love ashwagandha. But what I like to do with it, I combine it with rhodiola. I get phenomenal results. I'll, I, I, I like to put a combination together for myself with ashwagandha and rhodiola, and I'll take that in the morning, and I'll take that at night. And usually I have the combination that I make for myself, I, I use about 300 milligrams of ashwagandha and 200 milligrams of rhodiola, and that gives phenomenal results. And you can take that daily or as needed. But I like to take it daily because then when you get the results, it takes time anyway. It's hard to take it as needed, but you can do whatever you feel is most, the most um, uh, required for your body. Now we're going to leave ourselves up for some time here for some questions, and I'll turn it back to Cheryl. Thank you so much, Terry. We really appreciate the time you spent sharing all that information about ashwagandha. Every time I listen to you speak, I learn something new. Folks, if you have any questions about ashwagandha or any topic, please visit us at the Terry Talks Nutrition website at www.terrytalksnutrition.com. You can ask your own personal questions. You can review past webinars. You can read articles and subscribe to podcasts. It's a great repository for all things natural medicine. We also have a YouTube channel called Terry Talks Nutrition where you can listen to and view any of our past webinars, including this one. You can sign up for a free weekly newsletter on the Terry Talks Nutrition website, and we would appreciate it if you would also like us on Facebook, on both the Terry Talks Nutrition Facebook so thank you so much for taking time to learn more about ashwagandha today. We hope you'll join us again for an upcoming educational webinar sponsored by Terry Talks Nutrition. Thanks again, everyone, and until we meet again, good health to you. Bye-bye.